Welcome back on my channel, Digital Toolcase, I'm Chris, uh, and today I want to talk about uh, phrase, because I'm not talking about it uh, as much as I want. Uh, phrase is really the core of my daily writing job, uh, because uh, it uh, gives me the chance to see what my competitors are writing about, uh, and I can optimize my content for SEO and for Google SERP, and not only Google, obviously, all search engines. Here in the description, you can find uh, my link to try Phrase for free if you want for uh, seven days. If I uh, remember, uh, it's an affiliate link, so <laughs> I will appreciate it if you will use it because you will help me to grow my channel. I just noticed that um, the starter plan has gone. I suppose uh, not much people was uh, using it. So uh, now you only have the basic and the team plan. Here you can find the prices, you can find the limits, uh, 30 documents, uh, credits for this one. It's the one I'm using. This is more for agencies and for uh, people who write uh, really good amount of content every month. And this is the SEO add-on, uh, $35 monthly. I highly suggest you to uh, even have the SEO add-on because it makes your work really, really easier. What I want to do very fast in this video is uh, explain uh, how a phrase can be of help in your work uh, and try to write uh, really quickly a brief for a listicle kind of article. The first thing you can do with the phrase is uh, uh, spy, if we can say that, your competitors and see uh, what they are writing about uh, in the SERP you want to rank. For example, this is uh, the uh, search query I Choose most popular Italian dishes. Interface has slightly changed in the last day. As you can see, if you watched my previous video on a phrase, uh, there are less buttons because they are grouping uh, something in uh, some menus here, but nothing drastic. So uh, here is the part where you do your research. You uh, just need to click on research. Here you can find uh, the average uh, numbers of your competitors. For example, it's uh, saying me that my competitors are using for this query uh, an average of uh, this uh, number of words, uh, this number of headers, this number of links, uh, this number of images. This is the domain authority on average of my competitors. And these are the backlinks. As, as you can see, they are not <laughs> a small number. So uh, I suppose this uh, is not quite a simple uh, query to uh, rank for. But for the sake of this video, I just want to show you uh, how phrase can be useful for you. Uh, the first thing is research. So you can even expand these. Uh, we can see better. You can see uh, the number, the first 20 uh, articles that are ranking for this query, and you can uh, read very, very easily what your competitors are writing about. Uh, for example, we are talking about the most popular Italian dishes, and uh, here we can see that the, this uh, site, uh, italyfoodies.com, is uh, writing this kind of content. So there's an H1, Italian Food Guide, 26 most famous traditional foods in Italy. I can even expand and here I can read their introduction, uh, so I can learn something about this topic if I don't know uh, too much, or I just can see how they are talking about this topic. Here there are some H2s, uh, Italy food culture, for example. Maybe it's something I want to include in my article, so I can take inspiration. I'm not copying uh, my competitors' uh, uh, content. I just take uh, inspiration uh, and just make sure that uh, I include those topics in my article because I need to compete with them in the SERP. Here uh, uh, it's talking about uh, some uh, uh, foods in specific, Ribolita, 
uh, this is just an example here it's uh, risotto for example i can see uh, what this site is talking about i can even watch another uh, site it's uh, bonappetour.com ranking number seven for this uh, search query is talking about uh, arancini and uh, this is how i can uh, uh, see what my competitors are writing about and do uh, my research uh, if uh, i don't have a tool like phrase i need to go on google do my uh, search with the query most popular italian dishes i need to open the different sites in uh, different windows go read them all and as you can see here is uh, very simple because i have uh, all my competitor here and can read their uh, content i can even uh, prepare my fast outline uh, for my article for example because uh, reading my uh, competitors content i can say well this site uh, is talking about pasta i want to include pasta in my article so i just click on this icon and uh, i place uh, the word pasta here this will be one of my h2s obviously uh, i want to talk about for example uh, of uh, risotto so i place it here and this will be another h2 uh, i will talk about uh, lasagne so I copy this uh, and make sure I include uh, some of the most uh, important topics uh, that my competitors are writing about here for example I see I want to talk about pizza obviously uh, this I will delete it and uh, in this way I can prepare very fast uh, the topics uh, the h2s I will include in my article uh, I can even go more specific for example uh, inside pizza I can talk about Napolitan pizza it's uh, one kind of pizza this will be maybe one h3 I can uh, uh, talk about, uh, let's see, Raguola Bolognese, I think uh, it will go inside the pasta, for example, because it's one kind of pasta, uh, and this will be another H3, let's do like this. Uh, this is just an example uh, on how you can create uh, a very quick uh, uh, outline for your article using the topics your competitors are writing about now if i go in uh, optimize uh, uh, section here in phrase uh, this is uh, the real power of a phrase because phrase uh, uh, let you optimize your article for seo and uh, specific for uh, on-page seo we are not talking about uh, technical seo but uh, the words and the keywords and the phrases uh, the uh, that you need to include in your article to be more relevant in uh, the search query and here you have a series of uh, uh, words that your competitors are using in their content uh, as you can see here for example italian dishes is uh, um, are two words that uh, 15 of your competitors uh, include in their content if i click here i can even uh, read in uh, in what kind of uh, phrases and uh, sentences they are including italian dishes so i can understand better how to use this word in my content uh, again the more of these uh, words i include in my content the more my uh, SERP score will go up my goal obviously is to take it to 100 percent it's not uh, <laughs> uh, really simple because i need uh, i will need to include uh, a very large part of this word but that is the optimal uh, this is uh, as you can see the average score across competitors so when i uh, pass this value in my content i'm uh, already in a very good position here i can dif uh, differentiate uh, between long tail uh, keywords uh, i have cluster of keywords these are grouped uh, in some cluster very interesting because i can um, uh, write uh, very specific about all these topics uh, and include uh, the highest number of words uh, here i have uh, uh, 
titles. These are words uh, that are used in uh, the main titles by my competitors. Here I have headers, for example, uh, are words that, that are included in um, uh, H2s and H3s. For example, if I want to include, uh, let's say, prosciutto, I can say this, uh, uh, pizza al prosciutto and make this an h3 and as you can see this become green because i included it in my content as an header so an h3 in this case if i go to uh, long tail uh, let's say i want to include for example a risotto alla milanese here can be uh, a, an h3 under uh, risotto that is our h2 i can even uh, go here and click on the icon i place it here and as you can see it's red because it's saying me that i'm uh, using too much time this is because i really have uh, a few uh, words in my text uh, so it's uh, uh, giving me this uh, alert uh, something like uh, keyword stuffing uh, but this is just because i really have uh, a few words so there's no uh, so much text and this is really the power of a phrase because in this way you will create a content an article optimized for on-page seo uh, relevant for your SERP, uh, search query and uh, um, it will rank uh, better this is not the only thing you can do uh, and you uh, will do <laughs> to rank better but it's really important uh, to be relevant because one of the things that people want when searching in google is uh, an answer to their question maybe they're uh, searching for the most popular italian dishes you have to give them the best answer possible and the best answer is an article a really complete article and relevant article and you can create it with phrase all what i have showed you uh, until now you can do it in phrase even without the seo add-on because this is all manual you can uh, search uh, for competitors uh, spy your competitors uh, you can optimize your article and this is what you have with these basic and team uh, plans uh, here with the basic you have 30 documents uh, uh, monthly here you have unlimited documents and monthly and uh, you can uh, have even a team so you can have uh, three user seats uh, inside uh, this uh, plan you don't need the seo add-on uh, just to do this kind of things in uh, a phrase and you also can do other things uh, for for example uh, you can uh, here in optimize you can see a uh, SERP score by your competitors you can see a topic heat map so you can uh, let's say fight again <laughs> one specific of your competitors and see what he's writing uh, and include the words in your uh, content if uh, you uh, want to add this add-on uh, you will have uh, really 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 more power with the uh, uh, phrase because um, uh, phrase is also an ai writer and i want to let you see very quickly what you can do for example let's delete uh, this uh, because I want to show you one simple thing. If I go here in AI Write, here I placed a really small brief a context so the AI writer will know what to write. For example, if my document is empty, I can just place my cursor here and by clicking on write for me a phrase automatically will generate uh, a, an introduction for my article i just need to do one click uh, wait for a few seconds and let's see what is the most popular italian dish italy has always been known for its delicious food 
The country boasts uh, some of the best restaurants in the world and Italians love their pasta, pizza and other dishes. Italy is home to some of the most famous dishes around the globe. Some of these include spaghetti, bolognese, lasagna, ravioli and tiramisu. You always need to fact check uh, because uh, um, AI sometimes is really, really wrong. Uh, so, maybe you like this uh, style of introduction. If you don't like it, you can even use templates to generate introduction as uh, maybe you already have seen in my previous uh, phrase video, but I just do, uh, do something really quick uh, in uh, this video. Uh, even for uh, creating my um, list of uh, dishes, of Italian dishes, I can do it uh, different ways, but let's do something really uh, fast and simple. I just go here and, uh, and write something like uh, list of... Uh, uh, most uh, popular Italian dishes. Now, a phrase doesn't have commands like, for example, uh, Jasper AI, but uh, I can use something similar because I'm uh, uh, giving some lead to uh, phrase AI. In this case, I'm asking for a list of most popular Italian dishes. I place this uh, some kind of ballet here, so phrase understands that I want a list. Now, placing my cursor here and clicking on write for me here or here, or even clicking command plus enter, I can have uh, a list of uh, Italian dishes. Let's see uh, how is our output. Okay, in this case, it's giving me um, uh, a uh, dish and then a brief description of uh, the dish. I don't really want something like this, so uh, I can really change this like in this way. Uh, I think in this way the pattern will be better recognized. Let's see. Okay, now I have a list. Spaghetti bolognese, lasagna al forno, ravioli alla norma, pizza margherita, gnocchi di patate, cannoli, tiramisu, <laughs> and so on. Uh, this is a way I can generate a list of uh, dishes with uh, AI. Maybe I don't like it so much, so I can give uh, some example to uh, AI. Pasta, uh, pizza... Uh, let's say risotto, okay, and let's do like this, let's see uh, how it goes on, okay, cannoli, it's some kind of desert, gelato, tiramisu, tiramisu, it's a desert, uh, but we can leave it there, spaghetti alla carbonara can be, uh, can be a, an H3 inside the pasta, uh, lasagne, okay, we can place it uh, here, uh, ravioli, we can place it here. As you can see, I have my list, my brief list of uh, foods, Italian foods, H2s, this will be an H3, and this is one way I can use to create uh, my H2s and H3s using simply AI. Now I get rid of this. Uh, uh, let's say I want to talk about pasta now. I can go here in research, maybe uh, watch what kind of content uh, my competitors are writing about pasta. For example, here I can read uh, uh, all the information I want, or maybe I'm already an expert of this, so I can uh, start writing something Pasta is well known all over the world, but it's a real, sorry, a real uh, tradition in Italy where people. Okay, let's say this is my 
um, uh, is my lead. I'm giving uh, AI a little lead and now I can click on write for me and see what AI can write to follow up on my uh, paragraph or my sentence where people enjoy this dish every day. Spaghetti, penne, rigatoni, fusilli, macaroni and many more are served with sauces like tomatoes, sauce or meat based sauces. Uh, again, you always need to fact check. Maybe you, you can uh, take what uh, uh, AI wrote and compare it with your competitor's uh, uh, article. You can even use these uh, buttons. Uh, rewrite uh, will uh, uh, in some way rewrite your uh, uh, competitor uh, content, but it's not really good uh, usually. Uh, summarize will summarize it. Uh, again, uh, I usually don't use this kind of buttons because I prefer to uh, write my original content. Uh, yes, I watch what my competitors are writing about, but it's always better to uh, write something original, something new, uh, something better uh, than uh, the content of your competitors. Now, if I go to optimize again, as you can see, my SERP score has gone to 10%. It was 0% because uh, when AI writes my content, uh, it includes even some of these words. So, uh, Italian dishes, two on two, uh, and it's green. Tomato sauce, one, it's green, and uh, okay, these are the two words included. Now, AI will not include all your uh, words, or the words are needed in uh, your, t in your uh, article, in your content, uh, but once you have written your uh, uh, initial brief of the article, you can uh, edit it, include all these words or the words that make sense in your content and optimize it for SEO. Before closing the video, I just want to let you see how you can use AI writing tool in a phrase to generate uh, quite an entire uh, listicle kind of article uh, very quickly. For example, using uh, a template. Uh, in the community template, if I search for listicle, there's a listicle. It's called Listicle with, pa with Paragraph, version 3.5, made by Matt Zimmerman, one of the best uh, uh, template creators in the community. And <laughs> you can see how many times uh, this, uh, um, this uh, template has been used. I click here. I just need to place here my uh, title and... Uh, uh, maybe I can even say the seven most popular Italian dishes uh, um, to eat during your vacation. I can say like that uh, and uh, I can run template uh, and just... Uh, uh, wait for a few seconds it will take a little bit because uh, you will see uh, it uh, will give us a very long output i can't say a complete article but uh, for sure it will be a very good starting brief for uh, an article Okay, this is the output. Uh, let's copy it here in our main content. We have some kind of uh, hook here. Italy has been known for its delicious food since ancient times. Today, Italians still enjoy eating traditional foods such as pasta, pizza and gelato. Here are the top seven Italian dishes you should try while traveling in Italy. So it's uh, some kind of uh, introduction for our article. Let's make it like this. A really short uh, um, introduction, but you can always uh, edit it. Uh, you always need to edit, fact check, uh, and so on. But as you can see, we have a 400 words uh, output. Uh, here uh, we have a list uh, not quite useful. So let's take, let's get rid of it. 
But as you can see, uh, it generated some kind of, uh, mm, uh, of uh, listicle with our H2s, pasta, pizza, risotto. They're quite the same we used before. Cannoli, it's a dessert, but let's pretend we want it there. Lasagna, focaccia, and so on. Then, once you have your starting brief, uh, you can always go expand all these uh, uh, paragraphs, uh, make it longer, and from uh, 300 words, uh, maybe you can uh, let it become uh, a thousand words uh, very easily. We can even uh, load more and let the AI generate one more output. If you have the SEO add-on with phrase, uh, you have unlimited words, so you will pay $35 monthly uh, for the uh, AI writing tool and uh, you will uh, generate how many words you want uh, you can generate and generate and generate again you don't have any limits uh, so if you don't like the output you can generate again you can build your own templates uh, for your specific needs uh, and uh, so on uh, i'm finding myself uh, using uh, very much phrase for research for optimizing and um, even with AI writing, but not to write an entire article, but just to use it as an assistant to have ideas on topics, ideas on, uh, on uh, paragraphs to include in my content. So let's uh, see this one. It's uh, obviously slightly different. Italy is one of the world's top tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year. It's no wonder that Italians love to travel abroad and spend their vacation there. But what do they really eat while traveling? Okay, this is not quite uh, the kind of... Uh, 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 angle I wanted because uh, this was uh, not for Italians uh, going on vacation but for non-Italians but okay uh, this is just uh, an example another uh, different version of uh, our starting point for the uh, listicle article uh, if you prefer you can even generate one by one your paragraph for example I want to generate only the pasta one and not all my brief, all my article, I can use another uh, kind of template. I can use, for example, these paragraphs from facts. It's another template made by Matt Zimmerman. And if you want something that includes some facts, you can feed those facts inside the AI of phrase. So let's copy this, the main topic, the most popular Italian dishes. The subtopic is pasta. Uh, two sentence background on subtopic. Pasta is the most eaten uh, food in Italy and really appreciated even for to even uh, by tourists okay eaten food okay uh, this uh, is uh, my background and here i can place one to four points about the subtopic uh, like this for example there are many types of pasta another one can be uh, let's see we can say uh, spaghetti and uh, macaroni are the uh, are the most uh, used when cooking pasta okay i just give it two uh, two facts uh, something like uh, facts or something I want uh, to be included in my uh, paragraph and I just click on run template let's wait uh, some seconds until AI gives us uh, uh, some kind of output and let's see how it is okay let's try to copy it uh, here 
There are many different types of pasta, some are better suited for certain foods, while others are perfect for other dishes. Spaghetti and macaroni are, the, are two of the most common types of pasta, they're both made from a wet floor and so on and so on. As you can see, um, our facts have been included in this paragraph, uh, these are the uh, points I made for this. Uh, as always, uh, you can judge by yourself if you like the kind of output uh, or usually you need to edit something because not always the AI will write exactly what you <laughs> have in your mind. So, as I said before, I usually use this uh, AI writer to help me to have an assistant to give me some ideas maybe something that i was not thinking about when writing the article something to add to make my content uh, even better i don't pretend that ai is uh, um, able to write an entire article perfect uh, uh, to be published. And I'm not saying uh, you will generate an article in uh, only 10 minutes, <laughs> because uh, that's not true. Uh, you need to work on your content if you want it to rank uh, on uh, search engines. Uh, you want to make sure your content is really good. And this can be done in 10 minutes. Uh, you really need to work on your content. But this tool uh, can really speed up your work. Uh, this is for sure. I know someone that can, uh, thanks to this tool, this kind of tools, uh, can even uh, mm, write and publish uh, two, three, four articles in one day. It depends uh, of uh, what kind of articles uh, you need to write. Uh, the more they are technical ones, the more they are specific, and the more time you need to uh, spend in order to generate a good content. Okay, I think uh, that's all for uh, this video. Uh, remember, you can uh, try Phrase for free. You just need to click on the link you find here below uh, my video in the description. It's an affiliate link, so thank you if you will use it. Uh, I will do other videos for sure about Phrase, uh, more specific ones, because uh, as I said before, I really use it every day and I want to to show you the potential of this uh, fantastic tool. So, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you soon in the next one.